Perfecto. Beyonce doesn't have bags, guys. She does not need to stress. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Mishka, and please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. So today I'm going to be recreating um, Beyonce's video that she reposted on her Instagram. I am so in love with this look. Um, it's a very natural, I don't know, just a soft glam kind of look. Now I know um, Alyssa Ashley also recreated this look, which also motivated me to recreate this look because I just love Alyssa Ashley, I love everything about her. So today I'll be sharing with you guys my version on it. Um, I do feel my version is a bit different. So without any further ado, I think we should just get straight into the video. So firstly, my skin is super dry. Um, let me just look at this picture again. Beyonce looks very glowy, but at the same time, very matte. So there is some dewiness, but there is also like a bit of a madness to her look, um, especially her eyeshadow, well in the crease and under her eyes, it's very matte. So I think let's just start by moisturizing and for moisturizer, I'm going to go in with my Pixi Rose Flash Balm. So if you've watched my previous videos, you will know that I love this stuff. And then just for some extra moisture, I'm going to go in with my Rose Glow Mist. So in this look, Beyonce does have a matte yet glowy finish. So I'm going to go in with these two foundations. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation as well as the Milani Conceal and Perfect in One. Um, foundation and to me these two foundations together just work very very well I've used them together I add the Fenty foundation more towards the inner part of my face and then I use the Milani foundation on the outer parts of my face and now I'm going to go in with the Milani foundation on the outer parts of my face So I will now be using the Sigma Dual Fiber F50 brush. I've been using this brush and I've honestly been loving it so much. Um, it just leaves my foundation looking so flawless and I'm really loving that. So I'm now going to start on the outer parts of my face, the perimeters, moving inwards. I'm just making sure that I'm blending the two shades together very well so that there's no harsh line or any um, differentiation between you know the Milani and the Fenty foundation. So for concealer I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I am in the shade Pure Beige. So I do want a very flawless coverage just because Beyonce doesn't have bags guys. She does not need to stress or she ain't getting no sleepless nights. So I just want to achieve the same thing. To blend my concealer out I'm going to be using the Sigma Conceal Blend Kabuki F79 brush. And this is the first time I'm going to be using this brush, so I'm really going to try it out today. Ooh, that was like effortless. Did you see that? Oh, wow, I'm super impressed. What I love in this look is Beyonce's brows. Did you guys see her brows? Jeez, her brows were like so naturally fleeky. Almost reminds me of... um. Melissa Alves, if you follow her on Instagram, she's just bomb. I love Alyssa Alves. She is such goals. I'm pleased with that. I might just 
add a bit more conceal on these two visitors that I have on my forehead. So I'm going to let that almost just sit a bit so that it can dry and just the concealer can become a bit more pigmented. But now I'm going to go in under my eye just blending my concealer out. Sure, this brush really makes my concealer so full coverage. In the last Insta video that I posted, I noticed how harsh I was on my eye and I was like, geez bro. So I'm really trying to be as gentle as possible around my eyes. So in her look, her under eyes look very mattified, but at least to me it does. So I'm going to go in with my Re Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. I love this powder. This is probably one of the only powders now that I use. And to apply this, um, I'm going to apply it under my eye just to set my concealer. And I will be using the Sigma Tapered Face Brush, the F25 brush. This powder never fails to amaze me. I just love this stuff. I'm just running the excess of the brush down to my smile lines because, girl, these smile lines are like the worst. And then I'm also just going to set this area on my forehead. Don't you just love that difference? Oh, I just love this banana powder. So I need to warm up my face now because I'm looking a bit ghostly. So to warm up my face, I'm going to go in with the Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. So I'm going to go in with the shade over here and it's called Throw Shade. And I'm just going to use this to warm up my face. Okay, so I think that's enough warming up of my face just because Beyonce's look is not all that crazy, um, like contoured and I'm just now going to only contour my nose. So to contour my nose, I'll be going in with that throw shade, shade again in the Sigma Sculpt palette and I'll be using my Luxie 209 Large Shader Brush. And I just sort of dip it in and then I tap the excess off on the back of my hand and then I go in with it. Oof. Can you see how pigmented that is still? I need to tap a bit more off. I feel like that's a little bit too contoured so I'm just going in with my foundation brush and just tapping it ever so slightly. So in the look, she does now have a lot of blush. Well, not a lot, but it's like a peachy. The blush is definitely, um, you can definitely see it and it's quite um, evident in the picture. So I'm going to go in with my Alamar Cosmetics Colorit Blush Trio. I got this in my Boxy Charm and this has honestly just become one of my very favorite blush uh like mini palettes and I mix these two shades together and I find it just gives me a nice coral mix with like a bit of a pink blush and I'm really loving that look right now. So I will be mixing these two shades together. The one shade is called Pareso and the other one's called Scorcher. So these two shades over here. That looks so pretty. I love that. Oh yes, I feel like that's just enough. Her face looks very warmed up in the picture, so I'm just going to run some of this blush sort of all over my face. Just the excess, I didn't put more blush on, just the excess and what's left on the brush, so. So for eyes, I'm going to be using the Sigma Dream Palette. Guys, this palette is literally now my favorite palette. Looking at the picture, she's got 
I like dark shade. I don't know how to explain it anywhere else, but I'm going to be mixing the two shades over here. Boo-boo. 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 So I'm going to be mixing the two shades, um, boo-boo and woof-woof. The shade over here and the shade over here. So I'm just going to be dipping my brush into both shades and adding this into my crease. And my voice is going. <laughs> and for this, I'm going to be using the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Honestly, Sigma's brushes, guys. These brushes are just amazing. I love these brushes. So I just tap my brush into both those shades, Boohoo and Woof Woof. And I'm just going to lightly, first start lightly, and then I can go darker. Add this into my crease. So I'm now just blending out the edge. I think that looks pretty good. I might just add a bit more to the inner part of my eye. Yeah, I like how that looks. That looks pretty good. So now that I'm happy with that darker shade, I'm going to go in. Let me just look at her. She looks like she's got a bit of a goldy, not really a goldy, but like a peachy, corally shimmer. Um, so, so I'm going to be mixing two shades just because I feel like it's a bit of a brown coral shimmer, gold shimmer, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to be mixing these two shades over here, I don't know if you guys can see it correctly, um, okay, there we go, I'm going to be mixing this shade over here and this shade over here, these two, and their names are Gemini and Cafe Cito. So I'm just going to take this on the back of my finger just because that's what works for me, you know. Um, so I'm going to be sort of tapping into both shades and this is very, very pigmented and I'm just going to be applying it onto my eyelid. Oh yes, that is perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Just going back into Cafe Cito only. Yes, yes, honey. I'm loving this. This is just coming out so good. I love that. Oh, I love that. So I'm just going in with that same tapered blending brush um, with no um, product on. I'm just going in with the same brush that I applied um, the shade on my crease with and I'm just going to sort of just blend it so that there's no, you know, harsh line. I just want something very seamless. So looking at her eye, her line on top. She looks like she's got a brown eyeliner on. I don't know, I'm zooming. Yes, I'm zooming in. She's definitely got a brown eyeliner on. So for the brown eyeliner, I'm going to go into my ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. And for this, I'm going to be using my eyeliner E05 Sigma Brush. And I'm just going to, ever so slightly, run it across my eyelid. Um, you guys will just see. I think that is perfect. I, it's not too much, it's not too heavy. It's just a bit of a line. I do think that I want to add a little bit more, just on the outer edge, because in the picture she does look like she's got a bit more line on the outer edge. So I'm very happy with how that looks right now. So I'm going to apply this Boohoo shade on my lower lash line. So I'm just almost, Lightly running it on the inner part. So, Beyonce does look like she's got a bit of a nude eyeliner on. Um, 
It looks very nude. It doesn't look white at all. It looks specifically nude. So I'm going to go in with this smudge gel liner. Um, I'm not sure what the shade is called. I think it's 01H6. That's all that's on here. But it looks like this. I'm loving these smudge eyeliners and lip liners just because they are super inexpensive. They're so creamy. I'm really enjoying using these. So I'm just going to put this in my waterline. So her inner corner doesn't look too highlighted. Her nose definitely looks highlighted and her brow bone does too. But I think before we do that, I'm going to just do my brows and I'm just going to brush them upwards. To brush them upwards, I'm going to be using my Benefit Ready Set Brow. So I'm just going to brush them upwards as her brows are. My brows are just a disaster right now, guys. Please don't judge over here. I like people who have brown brows. Um, maybe I should turn mine. I never thought of it. I just feel like I've got very bushy, long, big brows. <laughs> I don't know. So I absolutely love how I've brushed them out just because her brows look very natural um, and I'm now going to go in with my Benefit brow and I'm just going to on the inner part and a little bit towards the outside because as you can see here specifically my hairs are very sparse um, so I'm just going to draw hair like strokes and I'll be using my Benefit brow and this is in the shade 5. To do this I'm going to be using my now very favorite brush. This is the Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. Guys this brush is so thin you literally can achieve hair like strokes. I just love it. So I'm now going to apply mascara and for mascara I'm going to be using my very favourite uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So I feel like I'm not going to apply lashes to this look just because I personally feel that Beyonce does have lashes on. However, I think her lashes are naturally very short and mine are naturally very long, young flex. Um, but I just feel like this look looks fine with my naturally long lashes although you could add like how Alyssa added a demi wispy sort of um a lash which i think will look perfect on this but for me i just think this is enough um so i am also going to apply this on my bottom lash line because in beyonce's picture her lashes at the bottom her bottom lashes look white um you know mascara it up if we can call it that so i think i'm just going to do exactly the same so for highlighter my personal opinion beyonce in this picture doesn't look like she's really wearing highlighter only really on her nose and on a bit on her forehead but her forehead i do feel like that is just the lighting and on her nose that is highlighter although you don't see her cheek highlighter. I do think that she is wearing highlighter though just because Sir John is her makeup artist and if he did do this look, Sir John does like highlight, he likes glow. So I just feel like because of this angle, we don't see the highlighter. So I'm going to add highlighter for myself um, because I do think that there was possibly a highlighter added and we just don't see it. But I'm going to add a bronzy goldy, um, well not really goldy, but a bronzy sort of a highlighter and I'm going to go back into that Sigma Sculpt palette and I'm going to be using this shade over here called 24 Carat. So as you can see, it's quite bronzy um, and not really that highlighted. So. I'm going to use that shade and to apply this I'm going to be using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush um, and I'm literally just going to tap in, even that might be too much, and I'm just going to apply this on 
and I don't want to add too much so I think that's pretty good and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on my nose not too much and down the bridge of my nose because we want to have that sort of long bridge look because Beyonce does have quite a strong bridge of her nose so I'm just gonna apply that down the bridge of my nose and then on the tip so Alyssa mentioned the same thing in her recreation of this look and she mentioned that she finds it very weird not putting highlighter on her cupid's bow just because we're so used to doing that now and it's become such a trend and making our lips stand out and look very bold but in this look Beyonce does not have any highlighter on so it's going to be very difficult even for me to do that because I love my cupid's bow and even the inner corner of my eye oh the way I want to add highlights on the inner corner but I just have to hold myself um so yeah I'm just going to add some lip gloss and lip gloss today so for today's lip gloss I'm going to go in with two one very high end and then one very very low end so I'm going to be applying the Fenty Gloss Balm first. So after applying the Fenty Gloss Balm, I'm going to go in with this Clear Smudge Lip Gloss and this stuff. I mean, even if you're just going to the gym and want like a gloss look, this, this is like my new clear fave. So I'm going to be adding this shade over here, Gemini, the one that we used earlier, just a bit on my brow bone because she does have a bit of a brow highlight going on, but nothing too crazy. So I'm pretty pleased with this look. I really love how it came out and how I executed it because um, I really wanted to get as close to the look as possible. So as I mentioned previously, Beyonce does have a sort of a very dewy look, but at the same time, it's very matte. Um, so I don't want to go in with my Maybelline uh, setting spray just because I feel like the setting spray is too mattifying so I'm going to be using my pixie uh, fi makeup fixing mist and I'm just going to be spraying this all over my face and as usual I'm just going to be pressing this into my skin So this is the final look. I'm very happy and very pleased with how it came out. I am very pleased just because I feel like I did a great job recreating but also adding my own version to this look of Beyonce right here. Um, so I don't know, I just feel like I really, really am very pleased and really like how this came out. Um, if you like this video and you liked this recreation, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you have any other looks that you would like me to recreate, please comment them down below. Or you can tag me on Instagram just mentioning, please can you recreate this look. And you know, I'll definitely consider it because I do find these videos very um very fun and i can add my own twist to it so uh that is it for this video if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below your thoughts on it and feedback is appreciated and please also don't forget to subscribe and as usual i will see you guys in the next video bye